Hello YouTube, this is Judson Game 44 and today we are here to talk about the brand new episode, The Good Lars. Now, let's talk about it. In this episode, we are seeing Steven trying a whole entire pumpkin that's absolutely a whole entire, like, pumpkin bread one. <laughs> I think that would be a little bit too sweet for me. Anyway, one of the cool kids actually invited Lars, Sadie, and Steven to the party and call a pop block. So, wow, I was actually kind of shocked hearing that word, because that was the first time I ever hear it. A pop lock. But it's supposed to be where you pretty much bring food, and you all eat it together. So, let's see. What happens? Oh yeah, Lars is thinking about not going, but pretty much the only reason why, because he doesn't really want people knowing he's baking. Maybe he's just a little shy, actually, admitting to everyone else he's baking. Yeah, but here's it. <laughs> they make this delicious- I am a- sweet potato thing. It's kind of weird, but it's purple, white. It's supposed to be a delicious sweet, actually. So what happens is here is Steven and Lars have a little talk together, and pretty much they're having conversation about some things, about what Lars is saying about not going, about baking and stuff. But Steven and Lars pretty much tell chat, and Lars have realized he got a little bit more mature. Steven. <laughs> well, let's see. Anyway, Steven made a, like, Susie, I think that was? But besides that, Sadie brought plates, and guess what all the cool kids brought? There's about three. Sour cream pretty much brought soda. <laughs> the, the other one brought pizzas, and the one who invited them brought psychic fruit. Wow, Lars was definitely going to win this competition. Well, technically, it's not a competition, it's just for fun, but you know what I mean. But yeah, you see, like, Steven and Lars, pretty much, Steven came, and Sadie came, and she was very shocked about something. She actually got, like, sour cream, it's actually just like me with the dishes. When he made the paper plate, when she made the paper plates, sour cream walk up to her, turn off the lights, and throw glowing light sticks, and said, hooray, and turn back on light thing. Now I don't need to do the dishes. That's just like me, I swear. I'm not even joking at all. But besides that, pretty much Sadie's having fun with seeing a pop lock and laying on the beanbag, everything, with all the cool kids. And pretty much, Steven's looking for Lars. He's not there, there. He's going to everywhere, Mr. Smiley. <laughs> Rock and all's little brother. And pretty much, he eventually goes to Lars's parents. He goes pretty much everywhere around be saying then jump very high up in the air, but yet there is no one there where he's looking for a Lars. Where is Lars? So pretty much he goes back and right next to the dumpster he sees the pop lock. I guess Lars chose just to throw away not came in after all. However though, after that, after the party was over and anything, Sadie was going to say goodnight, Steven. Good night, Connie. I mean, good night, Sadie. <laughs> That's like, Connie will have a form for our next two episodes. Well, I won't spoil them for you because I actually found the leaked ones, but I'm not saying them. Sorry about that. Really sorry. Just came out of my head. But besides that, pretty much when Sadie was walking to the exact same two shadow gems we saw back in Dugout, it's pretty much the exact same shadows that we saw in that. And now they're going after Sadie, we can see. Yeah, it's always we are going to see these gems soon enough. So the question is, are we going to see them in the next episode, or are we going to see them at the final end of this episode? Are we going to see the diamonds? Or maybe not. We shall soon see what's going to happen. Anyway, this was a lot of fun talking about this episode. This is definitely getting a 9 out of 10. I definitely love it. Anyway, this is Judson Game 44 signing out. Until then, I'll see you all later. Bye.